Hey friends, welcome, welcome back to the amazing Grimskate. Yes, today I have a Manko with me. Yay! Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Damn it. I'm just. Oh, yeah, I'm just getting a little toasty real quick. <laughs> oh damn, he's getting Hi. toasty in here yeah. in this beat. Yep. Damn, but uh, yes, good to have you back again, man. Yes, I missed I you last time. <laughs> I'm very excited. I am. Um, I yeah, it was very very lonely last time when I did the video, but um, you're back now, so it's great. It is great. Yeah. So as I told you that um, my priority before the end of the year was to get the queue and station finished for our dog ride, and I can actually tell you that hundred percent. That the queue and station is, is done. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, the only thing we do need to do is just for this that I'm building here today is which is the pre-show room, uh, and of course we are, will add a few uh, trigger uh, effects and maybe a monitor here and there, um, for whenever we are gonna present the pre-show in the right video, which is hopefully within a few months. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> Well, oh, yeah, I just, been, have to let you, just have to let you guys know, like, it, you see the same, what seems to be the same build week after week because of this dark ride, but the complexity of what we're working with here is, uh, it's, it's yeah. a lot, it's a lot, and the space, like, you can see in these shots, like, there is, like, it, it looks like nonsense, but when you're in the, in the line, it's incredible, especially when you turn the lights off, and you see it all with, at nighttime, just, oh my goodness. Yes, and I gotta like this takes me back to like above end, like, Look and at I, this, like dude. This is crazy. because above end was like just it was so compact building in there, right? And the camera here also just it screws with you constantly, man. It's just it having its own life. Um, but yeah, so just to tell this, this was like something I I was sitting like I think actually like a few weeks back, and I was just sitting at work and I was just like, wait. What if I make a dome and I didn't like make like a few like kind of make it like some sort of an observatory but not really like from the inside where you have like these windows you can see like uh, the, the sky the stars yeah and then you'll have this open white section on top uh, and I was like okay let me try see because first of all I was not sure if there was room in here for it but then I saw like I had like such there was so long to the ceiling here so I had plenty of room to build for um, so yeah, as you can see from the back side, you don't want to go in there when you get into <laughs> this park here, because that is completely trash, but that is not the importance <laughs> of this build here. It's what you see, okay? It's what you see. But yeah, so the, the, the thing is here, because uh, you enter the first uh, the first pre-show room, which is like a kind of small video we're going to make with our little uh, robo uh, guy that is going to be your mascot on this sort of journey that this dog ride will eventually take you to or with which it's gonna tell you a few things a few facts of what is gonna happen and then you'll enter this room which is gonna tell you a bit more about the story and kind of like what happened and then uh, as I say me and Kevin are gonna figure out a few uh, trigger animations maybe walk uh, going around uh, yeah maybe even a few new pieces since we know Kevin can do animation now uh, well I'm still okay let, <laughs> let's let's stop there well um, okay basic then I guess uh, let's stop there <laughs> I tried to get it it's still not working I, I'm still trying to get the guy that's put there's does the animations to help me but it's just we don't have the time and every time he goes to explain it to me it ends up having an issue and I just honestly you know what like whatever we've done so much already without animations that like that is true we're we're yeah. fine but i think at the end when we go to release the park i'll try to see if there's some little things that we could do maybe just some a gear set or something like pipes that move or i don't know maybe i, I would like to have pipes that like crack open and steam come out and then go back to normal but i don't know how to that would that would be cool especially for this dog ride that yeah. we will um... but i also wanted to note too is that this this whole park is a steampunk park but this ride in particular is mixed in with a lot of like fantasy like space travel i i, I kind of wanted yes. to give a unique style of steampunk i don't well really... we might as well we might as well just say that it's what it's gonna be right like i mean yeah you could you could say what you want i mean we're kind of they're kind of already seeing now what the theme is um 
but I mean it's about it's about time travel, so yeah. to speak, right? So, and which yeah. is something to the lore that our Mister Grimlock here uh, and the ro uh, robot guy uh, eventually will tell you all about when you enter this uh, sort of theater. Will will turn into this um, dark ride experience. Um, yeah, so I, we're getting close to the to the polishing of the exterior, but then we still have some work to do on the inside, and then we got to get some recordings from people. Oh, that's a cool piece right there. Yeah, it's like from uh, Harry Potter or something. I, I didn't don't freaking make that, know. But that's really cool. Yeah. Also, this guy. Oh, you got a telescope? So, oh, I still have one in my Blender file that I just never finished. You never finished one? That was uh, damn, dude. Yeah. So, so this room was kind of like, what do I do? When I first got the walls and stuff, right? Because I was like, we don't really got like, like some sort of a, a, a story kind of we can go with here. So I had to kind of like improvise. But I gotta say, with the whole improvising, I also got some cool thoughts, and I brainstormed a bit on what would be able to happen in here in this room, right? While people are standing in queue here, uh, and then I was not really sure if we should add doors to uh, to each room and stuff. So I just let them be open for now, because uh, maybe we'll get some ideas uh, and then eventually have a trigger that will open up a door and make you go into this room, or we can just not. You know, it's yeah. all up to what we kind of like, uh, I guess, figuring out uh, to do. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm using a lot of your pieces, and then uh, I'm just kind of like just cluttering it up pretty much getting some ideas along the way i honestly this was pretty much all built from like my head like what i could kind of do here and then i just try to get around and try to add more and more to like kind of like was satisfied with the room you know yeah a lot and of this i'm seeing for the first time too it's been such a long time since i've been able to actually take a look at what's been going on in here because yes. the last file I had I went into was about four weeks ago, I think, maybe three weeks ago. And then I did, like, two or three things, and then you went back into the park the next day, and I was like, of course. <laughs> like, of course I forgot to upload it, but it wasn't anything serious, so I wasn't worried about it. I didn't even mention it. No, I mean, it's a... Uh, no, but it's also because I'm stubborn, and then also because, as a lot of people know, I will be traveling for a month. Yeah. So uh, there, there are a few things that I kind of want to get cross off the table, uh, especially with this dock right here. I did, I couldn't even have uh, half finished here, at least the queue and interior, um, for an entire month. So, um, but we have a little like a uh, little uh, cozy video we might do uh, after this that will come closer to Christmas uh, for Grimsgate. Uh, and then maybe I don't even know. Maybe we'll try to do a phase, uh, a phase two or three. I, I don't even know which phase we in anymore. Well, to be honest, we still, uh, oh, without going into too much detail, I was contemplating the the, la the latest expansion that we had, which was the this spinning coaster, and it's basically yes. a, a, basically a recreation of the ride to happiness. And the more I thought about it, I was like, okay, well, I don't want it to be exact. And I think I have a friend that's going to make. A similar layout but with just different elements so it's not the same thing and I think it will just feel better it'll flow better because honestly I'm not awesome. happy with some of my elements like that banana roll I made looks like an elephant's foot <laughs> I'm just over it. <laughs> tired of looking at it <laughs> all right. so it is what it is all right man well I get it but uh, we'll get to that that's uh that's something that will definitely uh, happen in 2023 you yes. guys will see us uh, where the big, actually the the big expansion, or like not a big that's, expansion, I'm, I'm making it sound like it's gonna be in like, but uh, it's not. It's a small uh, section, but it is the biggest of Grimscape. Yeah, because it's like I thought, out. like it's I thought the dog ride. Like it's not like I woke up the next day. Kevin asked, like, let me build a dog ride, and then like half of the map is filled out with a with a square box, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna be like that, right? So, but I mean, we, we definitely did get it covered up. Uh, like all the way around pretty much and now we have all oh, yeah. this stuff going on inside as well well i was thinking about it when i was making that big ass box when i first made it i was like okay this isn't gonna work so then i dug a big ass hole and, and, and hid the box and i was like okay this works and i i know that universal did it so i know if they could do it for their rides that you could dig underground for some of it then yeah it's just then we'll then we'll do it too we're not going to talk about how much money it costs to make any of the shit in grimsgate because i'm sure it's 
you know. Well, Grim Grimsky is is they're rich. They're rich here. Yeah, yeah, they got billionaire money. It's the richest, uh, it's uh, all the pioneers and all the rich bitches that lives here in Grimscape, where yep. Blackmire, it's the, it's the working, it's the working town, it's the, uh... Oh, I love the lions. Yeah, like, bro, I don't know, sometimes I just, like, <laughs> I just put, I just put pieces together and I'm just like, this looks nice. <laughs> and, nice. like, this is, like, three Themega Toolkit pieces mixed with, like, three in-game pieces just yep. to get this sort of vibe right and then i'm like does it look good does it and then as soon as i added it all the way around i was like hmm okay i'll uh i'll keep it and i'm so like i am i told you i wanted that lion statue head and you can see why because yeah, i've used it so i have not stopped times. used it ever since it is legit <laughs> one of my favorite pieces you've made but that's because if you have to think about the, the amount i've used it yeah then i definitely think those lion heads they uh, Oh, you they can use them handy. for so many different things. Oh, you can, 100%. I couldn't do any of this in Planko. I don't know how you did all of this. I've always wanted to, like, you have to think about, like, I, my, some of my biggest games that I take a lot of inspiration from when it comes to, uh, to interior stuff is like Dishonored, it's Bioshock. It's like all these, like, yeah. very high uh, detailed uh, interiors that they do in these games, right? And that is honestly where all my inspiration always comes from, pretty much. Um, See, I, the reason I stayed away from I did actually do a lot of it, research into Bioshock for this park, and the reason I stayed away from it is because I felt like a lot of the stuff was more pushed towards water and rather than steam. And I was thinking I, that I the agree. vibe would be a little different. So I stay. Oh, away. I agree. But the interior, though, inside of Bioshock, is kind of like this. It's very glamorous. It's very vinyl. Yeah. Like it's decor. It's so freaking rich. Uh, and the same goes for a lot of those, uh, like uh, all the Sherlock Holmes games and stuff I play, where I took a lot of inspiration from uh, all the the buildings we have on the street outside, right? So we get like this sort of old school London kind of vibe going on, right? Um, and I feel like honestly like Grimsgate is as I have said all the times this is probably some of the best architecture that I've built Oh, yeah, and and like a uh, theme and stuff like it's well every building is so different, but it all blends together so well Exactly, it's um, It's it's amazing. So To this section here I was struggling and we will not be able to go with Tejit cam here because it's it's completely screwed up so it's okay. uh, just the FYI, but um, yeah, I didn't really know at first what I could do here, to be fair. Like I was actually, you can see I already added the door here, but I will eventually move that again. Um, but I was I was kind of lost here. It took me a while to actually, because you can see I just literally just layer up walls until I kind of like figure out what the freak can I do here. <laughs> um, see, I eventually. At least you got that part, because I would have quit already. Well, if I don't get an idea that pops up right away, I'll just go over to another section. Like that's kind of like yeah. just how I I, I want to keep my groove going constantly. Um, sometimes I do things uh, very quick, and I'm like, don't even think about it. Where I eventually just go back, and I'm like, ah, that might not have been the best choice. Uh, let me remove that, right? And, but yeah, I do make it feel like you actually are gonna. It feels like you are gonna. You walk through something. Which is the uh, the big uh, scene, the big stage. So I'm trying to keep it very, yeah, how do you say, Victorian still, very glamorous. Um, and I even went in here, as you can see, I made a few pictures from Grimscape that I made in uh, black and white and uh, and like uh, sort of like a, a style of, of painted instead of actually pictures, as you can see here. Yeah. Just added a little bit of stuff around. Just looking at it there, flexing. It's good. It's good. And then we move forward, and I just. I just keep on adding stuff, man, and I, because this is a very tight uh, hallway for the guests, so I don't want anything to freaking hit them in their head or something, right? So I have to keep everything very tight to the walls here. So it was mainly just pictures, but I felt like it was a, a cool kind of little transitioning towards the big uh, stairway here, which is going to lead you up towards the right. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm actually I've done something super super fun. I f I feel like is um. I went in and I did some custom movie posters uh, that obviously is going to be um, 
it's not nothing's gonna happen but right but it's just uh, some nice uh, movie posters i went in and did so we can have them on our billboards and it makes it look so freaking cool i love it it's such a cool vibe it does you will see here in just a few minutes um where they will pop up on the screen here and you'll also see them uh, being placed in the monitor um but i just took some pictures from my projects and kind of like played around with them and uh, it turned out great man it was, it was really nice yeah there's a lot of work that went into this i am actually curious how many pieces went into just the dark right alone uh, I cause I think mm. that like if you looked at all of the time, uh, piece count and just size of everything of this right, it it's like most of the part really. Well, it's yeah, it's, it's definitely f it's definitely forty percent of the part. Because you gotta realize too is that the entrance is one of the buildings on the main plaza, so that you see that massive theater like that's like one of the biggest buildings on that row. And it yeah. connects to like a few other things. So you know we're 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 trying to open up the stalls. We're trying to make things, you know, livable, um, so that people can go and explore the shops and do stuff exactly. like that. And Wix has done a great job with the interior. Like it's like honestly, there's no way I could have done this without him. So like I'm well, really same. Happy. Yeah, <laughs> we were a good team. We worked really well together, and I've actually Go. been really inspired to go back into this park and build. I'm just, I'm kind of waiting for the new section because I'm kind of at a standstill with all of this stuff. Most of this part of the park is finished. Uh, yes, we're, we're really getting close to the end when it comes to this section of the uh, of the park. But. I am. I'm convinced we're definitely finishing Grimskate uh, summer next year. Yeah, I can before. realistically see a summer release, but I mean, to be honest, I have plans with Evan for the, for like one of the main videos, and I think it's gonna take him upwards of like a month or two to do it. So we're mm -hmm. just gonna have to, cause he's gonna make a really good video for us, you know. He's gonna awesome. help with that, so. He's already said he's good. I don't want to put too much effort onto him. Excited, but excited know, to see it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, man. I just don't want to give people unrealistic expectations because hey, you know life life happens. Like you're going on vacation it does. for a month, so that gives me time to really go in and do some stuff. Yeah, and my my project that has the first priority when I get back will be Blueport because that is like ten percent left of that park, and then I can get the it hell out of here, so I don't have to look at it again. I haven't talked to Yoda in so long. Uh, same here, dude. But yeah, uh, I you're here. You see in this video. Hello. Yep, yep. But um, you can see here at the end, I uh, was kind of like trying to find a transition from this uh, specific hallway where you can. Uh, I kind of like felt it was cool. You go all this way around, and then you uh, get to the end. You get all the movies on the side here, presentable, and you walk towards the ticket booth that leads you towards the station. Right. Yeah. I thought I thought that was a kind of a neat idea and it kind of feels realistic in that sense that you're walking towards all this and then at the end you'll uh, you'll buy your ticket for whatever show you want to see and uh, which I like it's super dope um, so yeah that's pretty much that we're slowly moving towards the end here you guys will eventually just see here in a sec uh, with the custom billboards and um, and images I did and I took a little bit of inspiration from from some of the project as i said and then we will probably be back uh, again next year me and uh, mr mango tango here yes um and yeah also just want to go back to quick what you said about the you couldn't build this uh, park without uh, without me being here and i and the same goes here because we had an agreement kind of like that this park was going to be like little of a project where you could uh, try around with your theme maker toolkit stuff right yeah, it was more yeah. of an experiment, and to be honest, I'm glad we did it because I'm kind of burning out in the aspect of, like, w like if I look at all I've done for this park in, in the Team Maker, in, the, in the, like, the whole, like, TNTK aspect of it all, it's exhausting. Like, I countless hours, like, went into yeah. just making everything, exporting it, fixing it, redoing this, and just waiting for fucking websites to j upload it all. And you, 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 unless you know the website and how to do all this stuff, you really just truly can't appreciate how much time it takes to get all this stuff done. And now that we're here, it's working. The FPS is fucking great. 
I have no issues, and I think that this is going to be my official exit to the series of Planet Coaster. I'm, like, kind of yeah. burning out, and... It's totally fair. Yeah. This has taken but, us almost a year or two years. How long have we, When did we start this? Yeah, about two years now, almost, more or less. Yeah, that's respectable. <laughs> I mean, but, um, I've, I've learned are... a trade. I've learned so much because of this project, and I couldn't be more... I, I've made money. I've grown a community i've met so many cool people because of the interest of this park alone so it's it's just really cool like we've had fun and i look forward to finishing it for sure same here dude i can't wait to uh, to get to that uh, stage but guys here's uh, the cinematics of what has been uh, made and added today let us know down below what you think we hope we see you guys next year anyways guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and as I say, if we get to it, we will eventually uh, do a little uh, video for you guys before that. But, Kevin, thanks for hanging, dude. I appreciate it, and uh, I can't wait to uh, get started next year with Grimsgate. Yup. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Take care, guys. Bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.